All right, in this video, I'm going to convert both of these lights to LED. All right, let me shut the light off. So with the regular incandescent 19.2 volt bulb in it, you get this kind of spread. So oh, that's incandescent. So if we swap that out, it's warm, of course, uh, with one of these style, which is a 6 to 24 volts. Uh, there's also this style, which doesn't work because it doesn't sit through here. I have to do some other crazy thing with it. So, it's a little bit more difficult to line up. There it is. So with the LED, much brighter. Um, and that's the pattern it gives off. Oh, it's focused, and there we go. That's the pattern it gives off. Okay, so that's that's an easy convert. Uh, nothing too difficult about converting these style of lights to LEDs. These go by a 6 to 24 volt LED like that. All right, so the next one, though, is this fluorescent style. So this so this would have a starter or ballast somewhere in here. Uh, let's take a look at that, what that looks like. Just sitting here. So it floods. It's a single bulb that wraps, so it's flooding an area. And of course, depending on how much power is in your battery, it's going to not be as bright, because this definitely isn't as bright as it normally would be. But a good work light anyway. Okay, let's see, how do I get this apart? Okay, right. so this is pretty easy to change out the light in it. Yeah, man. Struggle with it. There you go. Okay, so that just pops off. This is just a rubber plastic thing holding it at the top. So that doesn't really do anything. It's like a mirrored surface on the back, and then it just pops out. So it's that style. Uh, these are a four pack, they're for automotive, and it just has a, so it's 12 volt. So it just has a, a board in there, non-metallic, with LEDs on them. I had to scrape all the potting compound off the back and yank it out of there. And these are 12 volts, this is a 19.2, so I'll probably put these in series in here. And do I need video of me taking all this stuff apart? Probably not. All right, well, I will have to go back and figure out on the video which one the short one is. So for this thing, it's probably for this thing at the end. Okay, yes, but I need to probably cut all of the stickers. Okay, that's a part. Oh, oh that stayed. Okay. So, there we go. So we got half and half this part. So this is the right side. has got nothing on it. Looks like a piece of rubber. That was against transformer. Okay, so oh, so we have all the power going here. The wires coming around the back side. The light. So the switch turns on. Switch is right inside there. Now we have this hook thing. I can just set that off to the side. Um. Yeah. So another ballast, basically. And that's got a little rubber thing right there, too, which does absolutely nothing. That's weird. What the heck is that for? <laughs> it's not even touching anything on that side. 
not touching anything on that side, and it looks like there's partially touching, maybe it's touching the side of this transformer or something. I don't know, that's weird. Okay. Um, all right. So, I've got a bunch of parts ready. Um, what I've done is marked where these are going to go. Got two of them cleaned off. Uh, as you can see, the positive and negatives are off center. Uh, so if I put them in like this, they'd be past the top of where this screw stud is. So I'm going to end up flipping them this way. So they're below here and I'll have easy wire routing on the back side. So I already marked this out center. Just going to end up centering two of them right there. A little high above this because this thing, uh, when I'm going to leave this in here, is going to be across the bottom. So I'll just bridge these two in the middle together and then I'll pop holes for the outer outer ones. Uh, and then the wires might be kind of hard to get at the one way in the back to feed it through. Maybe I'll do the hole at an angle or something. Uh, so then I'll have a red and a black wire coming through this back side down here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this in here and I'm going to probably just cut it off. I'll fill this with hot glue just to have it in there. Uh, and then I'll probably do all my splices. If that's here, probably down in this cavity here. So I'll connect the red and the white to the red and the green and the black to the black. Um, that's that side. This side, uh, we've got this switch and the prongs are going to be in the same spot. I was thinking of cutting the wires off here and just going straight red and white to red, green black to black. Um, but then I thought I'm going to end up putting a fusible resistor in and then I saw the diode that they have on this. I was like, eh, I probably should have a diode on here too. It's for the heck of it. So I might just desolder everything off of this board and reuse it because it's got a nice uh, slot here. Uh, so I can probably just take everything off of here, leave the diode, and then find one of my many fusible resistors from all the other light bulbs I've taken apart on this channel, like this one. I mean, that one, if that one's good enough, I'll just solder that in somewhere. Man, probably might have to be on the front side somehow, but all this junk will be off of here. And uh, yeah, then I'll test it out. Um, there is room to put four of these across here. I guess I'll see how much light uh, two of them gives. Okay, so I took all the components off, added a fusible resistor from one of the many lights I took apart, added jumpers uh, for the positive and negative sides. You can see them traced on there. The back side over here. Um, so the main thing is uh, this green wire was over here, right next to the red wire. So instead of having it there, I moved it off over to here. So we have this, because this was the only area that was separating the negative from the positive. It's only 24 volts, whatever. But still now it's all the positives on this side, all the negatives way over here. There's all a space. Okay. So, then soldered these together. Um, I'll end up putting them down in that cavity. So then the other thing is, there's the lights sitting against the surface. Uh, this actually holds them in. So I'm thinking either just gonna hot glue down there, maybe hot glue up here, and maybe a little bit on the back here and that could hold them in. Um, I think, since I don't have any regular double back tape, I have this double back adhesive for when I fixed a battery in a cell phone and had to reseal the back because they glued them together, of course. So I'll probably try some of this. Uh, maybe just in a couple of spots along the back, not the whole thing. Uh, yeah, and then I'll uh, have to shift this over down here, give me some more slack up on this side. And then re-hot glue that back into where it was so the battery goes into there. And it should be good. Okay, everything's together. 
in place, routed. Uh, I did use those little bits of strip to hold those down into place. All right, this was the thing that goes inside for the other older mount uh, light bulb. Won't be putting that back in at all. Don't have any room for it. So these are in place. They're held down pretty well. They're not going anywhere. Uh, wires are routed. What's that thing? What is going to interfere? Anything? Put wires in the middle. No. That's going together pretty well. That is not centered. <laughs> hmm. Because why? Why is this not centered? Looks like someone put the sticker on sideways. Okay, well, it's not perfectly centered. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I'll deal with that. Let's open that back up. And that slides down in that slot. Okay, there we go. that out, put that in, so that's what it looks like, okay, and then let's uh, put that in there, okay, let me shut that off, okay, and I think I did that, oh yeah, so it's got a pattern to it, uh, does this have like a, no, it just had a pattern to it, but that is, yeah, let's see, it's definitely flooding in front. And it does have side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a, yeah, that's just as bright as, as the fluorescent tube. All together. Yeah, so, hook still works. Yeah, perfect. All right, so there is a conversion. Uh, all right, okay, so all the parts lists will be in the comments below. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. <laughs>